If you're fishing at any section of the CT River, make sure you look for one of these signs warning everyone about the fish advisory. Based on the samplings of fish tissue, a chemical known as PFAS has been found in fish throughout the Connecticut River. However, sunfish and trout are not part of the advisory. This map highlighting the specific water bodies and ways in which people should be cautious. PFAS themselves have a use in many household consumer products, most notably through Teflon, uh, the Teflon coating on frying pans that make your uh, fried eggs slide off without sticking. While the Connecticut Department of Public Health say it is okay to have that one meal per month, anything more than that can be bad for you, leading to long-term health effects such as high cholesterol levels, pregnancy complications, thyroid disease, and much more. We spoke to people fishing in Glastonbury for their reaction. We do have a catch and release in our family that we don't believe in taking the fish home, but we would still like that opportunity to have to have actually have a fish fry with some of the catfish we catch. There's a lot of trash in it and usually there's like, it's like more like, it's not like, it's like more murky than usual. So we asked DEP how PFAS leaks into the river. We do see a fair amount of PFAS in household wastewater uh, that's discharged. Uh, we're also seeing it from industrial commercial applications. As to when all fish will be safe to eat, Deep says it depends on consumer behavior in terms of what we buy and use at home. State agencies will continue to monitor popular fishing locations, but it is important in the meantime for those fishing to limit your fish consumption until the advisory is cleared. In East Harford, Carmen Chow, Fox 61, Connecticut's News Station.